everybody and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, as you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I had a friend and client from Canada ask me if I could attempt to do these resin pieces on cigarette cases. Um, I had never tried anything like this before and I thought, what the heck? Uh, she's a friend of mine, she's super nice, and she kind of knew this was going to be a giant experiment. So I will take you through the entire process in this video. I think they came out really cute. Uh, time will tell as to how they sort of hold up being used frequently with the resin on there. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. I approached this as I would any regular resin geode painting that I was going to do. So I taped these cases completely around the edges and the back with uh, painter's tape. I do come in and use a little bit of masking tape too because this painter's tape was coming a little bit loose. Uh, I do want to mention that I got these cases on Amazon and I got two different sizes because she wanted one for a friend to carry her cigarettes in, but then she wanted one for herself for her credit cards because she's not a smoker. So I got one that was a little bit thinner for the cigarettes and one that was a little wider to accommodate for credit cards and business cards and stuff like that. Um, and so like I said, I am following sort of my normal protocol here and I'm making some epoxy sculpt to form barriers for these little geodes. And I came in with a black sharpie and put down some lines as to where I wanted to put that epoxy sculpt down. And I do want to say you might be able to notice that um, on this square one here, it, the edges were pretty uh, straight and firm, but on that thinner one they were really rounded. And so um, this was going to possibly present a little challenge, but we'll see how it works out later actually pretty well. Um, but these were pretty tricky. Um, I'm really glad I did it. I think they came out well, um, but again, not really sure how they will hold up over time. If anybody out there has tried this before and has any input, please let me know. Um, I did make that epoxy sculpt really thin here because I wasn't going to be doing that thick of layers of resin on top of this. And so I didn't want these huge barriers that the resin was going to have to cover. And now I've waited a day and that epoxy sculpt is 100% dry and totally formed to the cases here. It's not moving at all. And just showing that I did come in again, like I mentioned with that masking tape, just to get it really sealed down um, because you don't want that resin to be able to seep in and get into any of the joints or anything like that. Um, I did paint them. I kind of skipped that part, but as you can see here, I have my paint down and I'm going to come in with my a hot glue gun and put some of these Swarovski crystals down. My friend wanted um, green and golds for her friend and she, my friend personally really likes bright colors like hot pink and hot orange so this one is for her friend and the other one is for her.
now coming in for the resin portion, you can see I did take masking tape and tape all around the edges of these. Again, that's the one that kind of has the beveled edge. So we'll see how that turns out. I did use stone coat countertop resin for this process because I wanted something really durable. This is gonna be more kind of a, that functional art and I wanted something a little bit stronger than the art resin, so I am using the regular countertop resin. All the products that I use in my videos, you can find them down in the description, and I do have a discount code for Stone Coat Countertop Resin down there if you wanna check that out. So yeah, just following along with what I normally do, I just went in and put some clear resin down on those loose jewels and stones. And I will just come in here and do as I normally do. I'll go quiet so you can watch the process and I'll be back in a little bit. these sit for about three hours and then I came in and pulled that tape off and kind of blended it in a little tiny bit I didn't have much to go around the sides as you'll see here and then I came in after 24 hours and pulled the rest of the tape off very gently around these edges so you can see they're clasping nicely everything's working well I didn't get any in the joints or in any of the openings of the cases there's the hot pink, hot orange one for my friend. And this is the one for her friend. And I used um, glitter flakes and glitter from Just For You Online UK, which you can find a link in the description of the video. That one closes nicely too. No resin seeped in anywhere. The edges came out really nice, nice and clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Come check out my Instagram at Dryer Days and my Facebook group, Dryer Days Art Studios Resin and Fluid Art Group. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on pouring.